Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. So, you might have noticed a change of clothes. I've actually got Winnie the Pooh pyjama shorts set on. Now, there is actually a reason for that. And, yeah, that's my natural hair. Do ignore it. But, today, I went somewhere I hadn't been to since I was a little girl. And I went there with Dad. And we both thought it was time for a little something. Time for something special. Now, right now, what you need to do is think, think, think about where you think we went today. We went to a hundred acre woods. We went to Pooh's Corner, we went in, had a bit of salad, had a nice cup of tea. Um, we saw this sandpit, Rue's sandpit, and we went to the Enchanted Forest, which was amazing. The first thing we did was we picked up a couple of sticks, went to the bridge, the good old famous Pooh Bridge, and played Pooh Sticks. And it was so great to be there um went to um out of there and we went into piglet's car park and went to um the enchanted forest went to where the famous tree is where somebody guess who got stuck in the tree and we saw A.A. Mill, um, the plaque about him, share my birthday with him, 18th of January, thank you very much. Um, it was nice to read it. We want to find where Christopher Robin is laid to rest. It would be really nice to see him. And the fact that um, all this is carrying on in his legacy about his beautifully made toys um after we had something to eat we went into the shop um had a really lovely look round went in the museum saw the actual desk where all the magic happened where um he come up with all his amazing ideas and honestly you really need to have a bit of a read on Wikipedia to learn more about the history, learn more about Chris Christopher Robin, A.A. Mill, all the rest of it. And just soak it up, take it all in. You've really got to go. It's just over two hours away for us, but it was worth it. The last time I went, I was a really little girl and it was so great, so much fun. Um, I really loved it. I felt like a kid again and that feeling is just i love it so much so if you love your winnie the pooh you know please go and just to remind you that the hundred acre wood really is a real place it's not make-believe anything like that you can really go some bits are private because there's a farm there um which you know respect the rules and all that but the one thing we didn't find, which I don't think they even had years ago, was Piglet's house, which was sad. But apart from that, we need we made a last minute decision. To be honest, we went, um, we left the house about eleven ish. So next time we go, we're gonna take Ryan. We're gonna leave really early, make a whole day, 
and see a lot more because there were still things that we didn't see like the heifer lump part but the weather was so terrible we just got soaked honestly soaked anyway so um i know you guys will want to see and where we are uh where we were there's a small um slideshow right now of pictures that i took of us being in the locations and just for you to see and hopefully they're good enough that it will make you want to go and it's amazing to to go for um taking your kids if you've got dogs it's just a nice day out and you feel like a kid again and i don't know wonderful feeling anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye everybody